Hello everyone and welcome to Rules Kitchen. Christophe Rule here and today we are going to make a beautiful chocolate box. White chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. We're going to add hazelnut with the dark chocolate, peanuts with the milk and apricot and pistachio with the white chocolate. And if you follow Rules Kitchen, there is no reason to fail. So put your apron on and let's get started. So what I call by tempered chocolate is pretty much we're going to melt all of our chocolate. And if I just pour the chocolate by itself, just like that, that chocolate is not going to be tempered. So what is tempered chocolate? Well, the tempered chocolate is pretty much to have all the beta molecule stabilized inside the chocolate. So the stabilization will make your chocolate shiny and you're going to have the snap. If you don't do this, you will have some white mark inside your chocolate. The chocolate will melt really fast and it's not going to be that snappy. So science has proven that by adding only 1% of molecule of cocoa butter inside your chocolate will be enough to temper your whole mass of chocolate. So that's what we're going to do today with our easy temper. So I am going to melt all my chocolate to 45 degrees Celsius. And of course, I'm using the microwave. All right, so during this time, I am going to line up my sheet pans with parchment paper. A little bit of spray. Parchment paper. Voilà. All right, so now we have our three chocolate that is about or above 40 degrees Celsius, 40, 45 degrees Celsius. Now, our main goal is to bring back down the temperature below 35. As soon as we are below 35 degrees Celsius, we're going to add 1% of silk white cocoa butter, which I am going to show you right now what it is. So the easy temper pretty much keep the cocoa butter, which is stabilized molecule, beta molecule, that will be necessary to temper all of our chocolate. So this is how the cocoa butter must look like before adding to your chocolate. Right now I am at 34.7, which is below 35. Perfect temperature to add our silk cocoa butter. All right. So I have my cocoa butter. Just to make sure it's in a really silk texture. And I'm not going to scale it, but I'm going to add about 1% of cocoa butter. And then mix, mix, mix. And it's really important to agitate your chocolate really, really often because if I'm adding my cocoa butter that is tamper inside my chocolate and I just mix a little bit, then certain area of my chocolate will not be combined with those tamper crystals. So that's why it's really important to agitate the chocolate to really bring all the molecules together. And that's what I'm doing right now. Super shiny. All right, 32, let's make a test. Alors, to do a test, I'm going to use my spatula over here. And if in less than a minute, my chocolate starting to set, that means my chocolate is tempered. So let's count. So you see the chocolate is already setting. That's a really good sign that the chocolate is tempered. And now that my chocolate is tempered, I am simply put it on my shipping. And I'm not over sinking. 
I just put all the chocolate. Voilà. And then with my spatula, I will spread about a quarter inch of thickness or even one eighth of an inch. Then tap, tap, tap. My roasted hazelnut, cold, obviously. Otherwise, it's going to destabilize your chocolate. So you want to make sure that your hazelnut are cold. And you just simply put all your hazelnut on the top of your chocolate evenly. And then somebody is going to have a snack to go to work tomorrow. Guess who is going to be? My petite wife. Is already starting to set on the side and I'm not even done putting all my hazelnut. So for sure, chocolate number one, tamper. Next. All right, so now my dark chocolate is gone, ready, is tampering nicely. Now I'm going to tamper both of chocolate or below 35 degrees Celsius. I am going to take 1% of my cocoa butter silk. 1%, I scaled it. Another 1% with the milk chocolate. And then mix, mix, mix. Once again, you really want to mix really well your chocolate to agitate the molecule and to bring back everything together. Don't be lazy, give some movement, agitation, excitement. Mix, mix, mix. Voilà. The milk chocolate is good. So, let's do the white chocolate. And while I'm doing the white chocolate, I am going to explain you something. There is a lot of people who think they are the best. Oh, me, 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 I know how to make the white chocolate. I know how to tamper the chocolate. I don't need to make a test. Well, la, la, blah, blah, blah. I hear this a lot. Guys, don't listen. You can make chocolate for 30 years in your life. It doesn't matter doesn't really matter. You never know what's happened. A drop of water going down, you never know. Just make a test, always making a test. Just ensure before you starting your production that your chocolate is fully tampered. No matter how much experience you have, as well as beginner, as professional, I will always recommend to make a test just by safety. Because what's happened if you're making a production of 1,000 bonbons, and then what? All your chocolate is not tamper, and then what are you doing? So, my test, I'm going to use a little spoon over here, and then another one, voila. I'm pretty confident that it's going to be tamper, but still I am making a test. All right, so I can tell my chocolate is already setting on the side of the spoon, so we are ready to go. So you see the chocolate is starting to uh, set on the side of the spoon after not even one minute. So both chocolates are tamper pretty much. So same thing, I'm pouring my white chocolate on my sheet pan. Voilà. 
then spread randomly your chocolate on your sheep pen with a spatula. Same thing about um, one eighth of an inch. When you are to that point, uh, you tap, tap, tap. To make it an even layer. And then simply put your pistachio on your chocolate. Before, of course, that your chocolate crystallize. Huh? So this way your uh, nuts uh, are getting attached to the chocolate. And just because I like it, I'm going to add also some dry apricot. No pun intended. Voila. White chocolate, pistachio, and dry apricot. Voila. And now let's do the same thing with our milk chocolate. And then let's sprinkle our peanuts. Salted peanuts. The salt really uh, enhances the flavor of any kind of product. And I love mixing salt with my chocolate. Et voilà. A piece of art. So now we are going to leave or three chocolate bark set for about two to three hours at about 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. So this way our chocolate will have time to crystallize. Technically the chocolate crystallize all the way in 24 hours, but for home use, let's be honest. Don't you want it them right now? Yes? Okay, so let's just wait a couple hours. So our chocolate has crystallized for about a couple of hours, just the time to eat a little dinner, and we are back at it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how strong a chocolate can be. That's 100% chocolate, and you see how thin it is? And you will not be able to do that if the chocolate is not tampered. Really thin, but it holds its shape. So I'm going to break it in a little pieces, just like that. And you don't try to be fancy right now. You just try to um, just break some pieces uh, random. Um, and the goal is to stack your chocolate bark on the top of each other. Next. White chocolate, pistachio, and apricot. You remember, right? All right. Let's cut some pieces. Mm. I think somebody is going to have a lot of snack. Voila. And now the milk chocolate with those beautiful salted peanuts. And hey, by the way, huh? same thing, huh? the chocolate is tamper. Huh? You see how thin it is and how strong it is? You will not be able to do that if the chocolate were not tamper. Cut in pieces like that. Tac, tac, tac. And this is it everyone, this is how to make a beautiful chocolate bark. Milk chocolate with peanut, dark chocolate with hazelnut, and white chocolate with pistachio and dry apricot. Let's try it. 
that's really good. So if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Push the subscribe button, hit the little bell, and then you can be notified each and every single recipe. Until then, au revoir, and see you next time in Rules Kitchen.